Does your long-term care policy have a waiver of premium provision? Now, keeping your long-term care policy is crucial, particularly since the premiums increase every year. So what happens to that premium when you file a claim for your long-term care benefits? Now, I will tell you, no uniform answer. It depends on what's in your policy. Some policies will provide that once your benefits are approved and continue to be approved, that you don't have to pay the premium for your long-term care policy. Now, there might be a period of time in which you have to continue the payment of that premium until the waiver kicks in. And you don't want to stop. I promise you that if you don't pay the benefits, uh, your premium, um, you're going to lose your coverage. And we recommend that you continue to pay that premium until the carrier accepts the claim and confirms in writing that the waiver of premium is in effect. Now, you are probably are wondering, well, what happens to that premium I paid? The carrier is going to refund that premium. So please don't stop paying the premium. Because uh, I will tell you, there are often disputes about whether the policy holder continues to need benefits and claims are often denied, even though the benefits may have been paid for, for years. In other words, you've continued to pay this uh, policy and now you might be in a dispute with the carrier about whether you're entitled to your long-term care benefits. Um, and if they send you a notice denying or suspending the benefits, there's a problem. They should be sending you a separate letter rescinding the waiver of the premium and demanding payment. Don't blow it off. Don't blow it off and don't blow it off. Even if you disagree, even if you are appealing, even if you're suing them to resume the payment of benefits, the carrier can argue that there's no coverage since you didn't pay the premium and they will pull a gotcha and in some states they're going to win even though their denial was wrong. I know that's crazy. I know it's strange, but I am strongly advising you to pay the premium uh, if you get a notice that the uh, uh, waiver premium coverage has been suspended. They will refund any premium that they think uh, you may have uh, paid improperly once all this is resolved and your coverage starts again. But if you don't pay the premium when the policy waiver premium has been rescinded, you're just jeopardizing continued uh, benefits. You are uh, jeopardizing your coverage because it's going to be really hard for you to find a new uh, long-term care policy if you no longer have coverage and you have a disabling medical condition. So don't fall into that trap. If you have any questions about your long-term care coverage, a waiver of premiums, if there's been a denial or termination of benefits, call us today at 727-894-3188. We're here to help. 727-894-3188.